What is up everyone and welcome to a really cool little upgrade video. Here I have a MacBook Pro 13 inch mid 2012. So this is the latest non-retina MacBook Pro, which is really cool. It'll probably be discontinued soon, but as all you guys know, this is probably the best model 13 inch one to get if you're not splashing for a retina, because it's the latest and it's pretty damn good. But stock configuration, it comes with a 500 gig hard drive and four gigabytes of RAM. By today's standards, that's okay, and a lot of people would get by with that, but it can be a lot better. So today we're gonna to be upgrading this. Now a couple of things before I start off. As you guys know, I'm filming all of these videos prior to the date of release. In fact, I'm filming this one on Thursday of the previous week. This is being released as Monday's video. Now, as you guys know, problems on the channel have escalated with my Mac Pro. And yes, this was a big investment. I didn't buy it brand new. I got a brilliant deal secondhand, but this was still a very big investment and a present for Jess. This is a nice surprise for her. By the time you're seeing this video, she's been using this MacBook Pro, hopefully successfully, all weekend. But as I say, it was a big investment. And yes, I am now a little bit um, tricky when it comes to my finances, because I had hoped that the Mac Pro would, you know, help smooth the deal and everything would be everything would be hunky-dory. That's how I can pretty much say it. Um, but unfortunately, as you guys know, that situation unfolded. But you may see a video um, about that tomorrow or something. I have no idea what's going to happen. But I'm pretending as if that hasn't happened and I'm carrying on as normal because there's no turning back now. I've already bought it and I'm still really glad that I bought it because she's going to love this machine. What am I going to be doing to this MacBook Pro? Well, first of all, I'm sure you guys have already guessed. This is the Samsung 830 SSD, 250 gigabytes. This came out of my Mac Pro. So at the moment, this has still got my Mac Pro install on it. Now for backup reasons, what I'm gonna do is take out the hard drive from here, put that in a caddy, stick this SSD in, and then using Carbon Copy Cloner or whatever, I'm just gonna copy all of my data from the SSD to the drive. Um, it might take a little while and it might elongate this process for me. It'll probably take a few hours because I believe this is nearly full. Um, but I do want an imaged backup of my Mac Pro because right now I'm fumbling around in the open space, a little bit clueless as to what my computer situation is like at the moment. And this is the closest thing I have to reliability at the moment. This install on here. This install worked and it's full of stuff that worked. And I like things that work at the moment but I want to give Jess this SSD. So that's the first thing. Nice little Samsung 830, 250 gig SSD. That'll be a nice upgrade. Popping that to the side. The next little thing that I've got is something that I bought really, really cheaply on eBay and I haven't opened them yet, so I'll open them live on camera. As you can probably tell, these are two sticks of RAM. This machine has four gigabytes of RAM. I want to bring it up to eight gig. Um, I thought I may as well bring it up, bring it up to eight gig because I'm already opening it up to change the drive. I thought there's no harm whatsoever in doing that. Now, I did not buy this as MacBook Pro compatible RAM. I just bought normal RAM. I didn't pay over the odds, so I actually saved a lot of money. And these are Samsung Sodims, as you guys can see. Let's just have a little closer look myself. I know this is gonna be fairly out of focus, but here they are. Of course, four gigabytes a piece, eight gigabytes total. So they are the two new RAM modules that I'll be putting in this system. So it'll be going from uh, a 2.5 gigahertz dual core i5 system. It'll be staying like that, of course. I believe it's 2.5 gigahertz anyway. Um, but instead of four gigabytes of RAM and a 500 gigabyte hard drive, it'll have eight gigabytes of RAM and a 250 gigabyte solid state drive, which is awesome. So tools that I will need for this job Pretty straightforward, actually. I'll need a fairly small Phillips screwdriver. This is a nice Stanley one. It's a sort of pen type one. And I really like this screwdriver. I actually carry this with me in my bag on the move um, because if you look on the other side of here, you can see it's got a small flat head on it. So I like that sort of modular um, aspect of it. And on this side, it's got a big Phillips and a big flat head. So it's got pretty much all the options you'd want and it's a great little portable screwdriver and both ends close up just like this and it looks just like a pen. I think this is really funky. My dad gave me this screwdriver, but yeah, that's the one I normally use for my small laptop jobs. Not quite a small enough tip for uh, like repairing phones and stuff, 
but it's great for these laptops. The second thing I will need is a Torx driver. Now, off the top of my head, I will admit to this, I haven't watched a guide on how to do it, but I have opened up James's MacBook Pro from a similar era to this one, um, 2011, and you need a Torx driver for the pins on the side of the drive, for the screws that are on the side of the drive that hold it into place. So, I'm cool with that. I will need a Torx driver. Not too sure if it's gonna be the end that's already on there, but I have all of the Torx ends here anyway. I'm only missing one, so. Um, Oh, it's actually, it's actually in here, look. And they're both double-sided. So I've got all of the Torx ends that I need. Um, so, not 100% sure on what I'm doing, but we'll give it a go. And uh, this is not gonna be as hard as some of the other things that I've had to do recently, especially coming to terms with uh, certain broken computers in the post. But I am not gonna let that uh, make me bitter. This is a video that I've been really looking forward to do upgrading this Mac Pro and bringing it up to a standard that it is really, really nicely usable um, and I'm not going to let anything get me down. So I'm going to flip the Mac Pro, the Mac Pro, the MacBook Pro over and I'm going to lay down one of my t-shirts on the desk just so we don't scratch the top because it's in lovely condition. So guys, even though I really like this video angle, I'm not too sure how long I'll be able to keep up with it um, doing the upgrade because my face is very far away from the machine and as you guys know I've got terrible eyesight but we'll give it a go. Um, I'm using this. This came with my hard drive that I unboxed last week. I'm using it as a screw tray because there are a couple of different sized screws surrounding this machine. These three on the back are actually longer than uh, the rest of the screws, these three to the right. And that's if it is the same as the rest of the MacBook Pros, which I think it is. And yes, as you can see, that screw is, is fairly long, so I'd better keep those separate. So first things first is to take out all of the screws. So the remainder of the screws are much smaller. So even if you don't have a separate place to keep them, when you're taking one of these apart, you can really easily tell which ones go where. So that's at least one plus. And this screwdriver is a very nice size to work with these screws. So let's continue with the rest. So that is every screw out of the machine uh, in terms of the bottom panel and these unibody designs are so nice and so easy to work with. Now I did that with my eyes shut because feeling my way is much better than using my eyes and um, anyone that's um, very, very sight impaired will be able to relate to that. But the problem is once you get in here, you can't exactly do things by feel because jabbing your screwdriver around is not really the best of ideas. So I'm gonna put the side panel off to the side <laughs> pretty safely over there, hoping that I don't drop it or anything. And here is the inside of the machine. Now I believe the first thing to do is disconnect the power connector from the motherboard. That connects the battery to the motherboard, so that's supplying power to the machine. Now that that's unplugged, I believe it is safe for us to work with the machine. So here are two screws, and this is the little bracket that holds in the hard drive and I believe these are capped screws, but I will be careful just in case they're not. Yes, they are. Although it's still good to be careful just in case. Now, it's so easy to upgrade the drives in these unibody MacBook Pros, much easier than in the old school MacBook Pros. Um, so here is the little drive bracket and the screws are indeed capped. Now, one thing I like to do is keep things facing the same direction. So. I have not turned that around. And literally all there is to it now, guys, is pull the drive up, unplug it. It's got a flat ribbon cable like that. And here is the drive, which is awesome. So um, what we're gonna do first, I reckon, is unscrew the Torx screws. So you guys can just about see this in the bottom of the frame. Now, while I'm unscrewing the drive, guys, I probably won't speed this up. I'll probably talk to you instead. Now, massive apologies if I'm sounding a little bit down in the dumps in this video. Today is the day that I got the bad news about my Mac Pro, and to be perfectly honest, with everything that's happened um, and everything that's about to happen, I'm a little bit, a um, little bit unstable today, not feeling the greatest in myself. Um, but hopefully by the time you're watching this, you would have received some kind of update as to what's happening with the scenario, um, and you'll know if the Mac Pro 
was fixable or whatever. So that's all good. I said I wasn't going to speak about it, but you'll probably hear in my voice that I'm a little bit down and I don't want to make anyone else down in the dumps. So free or feel free to turn off the upgrade if it's making you feel down in the dumps. I don't want that at all. Um, but what doesn't help is this heat. It's really hot today and I'm sweating pints doing this. So uh, it's not ideal, but there we go. Can't have everything. Now, next step is to, of course, replace all of these in the SSD. So as I was screwing that last one in, guys, I just had a nice bit of rekindled excitement for this. Um, money is money, you know, and to do something nice for someone is just, there's nothing that feels better. So I'm not feeling too bad about what's happened at all. I'm, I'm on it, you know, I just need a little bit of time to recover. But now I'm sticking on this little plastic tab or trying to stick it on anyway. Um, you know, the little drive pull-up tab, that would be handy, because then we'll be able to actually remove the drive in the future. So, that's that. And let's pop the hard drive in the anti-static bag and leave that for a rainy day. Actually, no, we'll be using it in a second, like I just described. Now, one small thing that I thought about when I was screwing that in that may be a contender for an issue is on this drive, the NVIDIA drivers are set to load as default, okay? So the NVIDIA drivers may come back to plague us, um, but in a little bit of a different form this time. But we will see if it boots. If it doesn't, I've got a time machine back up at the drive, and I'm literally just going to say, you know what? Screw it, and I'm going to erase the drive. But we'll see it. It'll probably, more than likely, boot. I'm thinking that it is going to boot. And where are the guides for this, guys? This side goes in first, and then the other side goes down because the two little pins line up, and it sits in there like that. So, perfect, looking good. The tab is there. That'll get pushed down by the top cover. Time to bring this guy back into the frame and sit it down on top of the drive here. This holds the drive in, which is cool. Screw this back up, and we're on the home stretch. I'm intrigued to see what the hell this thing does when it boots up those NVIDIA drivers. I did not think of that. But we can put this thing in target disk mode, but, oh, wait, hang on a second. I don't have a Firewire port on any other of my Macs. Well, I do on my G5, but booting that thing up may be more of a disaster than uh, we want on a day like this. Okay, so that's the drive screwed in. Job done. We are sorted. Now, all that's left to do is the easy part, and that is put the RAM in. So if we take a little look at this RAM, yoink, there we are guys, gosh, you've got to have really, really delicate um, handling for those ones, but there you go, here they are, uh, two gigabytes a piece, that's those, we'll put those to one side, and we'll be putting the new ones in, and these are four gigabytes a piece, so this will really, really help up, help speed the machine up, so let's slide in. The first one, excellent, and let's slide in the second one, and that is that done, awesome. So much easier to put in than to take out. The last thing we've got to do is replace the top cover, like that, and it just sits on there, and it's time to screw it all back together. So we are back up and running guys, now I did manage to remember to plug in the blinking power connector just before um, I just after I stopped the camera so that's really great news now I'm intrigued to know what this is gonna do when I start it up I really hope it's gonna be okay you can see me in the reflection there let's bring you up and um, yeah let's just go for it in three two one go Apple logo, interesting. Very interesting, actually. No bong, but my Mac Pro must have been turned down the last time I uh, had the SSD in it. Great. Look at that, guys, it's booted right up. It's booted right up, and 
the NVIDIA it's on OS, OS 10 drivers, it's automatically changed it, great. Um, system clock is incorrect, yeah of course I've unplugged it. So guys, that's um, some of the reason why I love the Mac Pros sometimes, you know. Um, the Mac in general is, that was just so easy. Um, this is exactly like everything was on my Mac Pro. Um, now let's check if it sees the, the RAM. 8 gigabytes of 1600 megahertz DDR3. Awesome stuff guys. I would say that is a successful upgrade, which is wicked. So, so, so happy with that guys. Really, really happy. Of course, if we go into system preferences, um, blah, 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 where are we? Sharing. You can see it's called Tom's Mac Pro right there. Um, but let's have a look at system report. And yeah, it's got everything correct. Number of cores too, 2.5 gigahertz. Let's have a look at SATA, Samsung 830, and the DVD rewriter is there. Taking a look at memory, there it is. We have 4 gigabytes in each, 1600 megahertz, status okay. Excellent, guys, excellent. Now, normally, I would, um, you know, basically change. I don't know whether I would keep this OS on here and make a new account and just delete my account and make it all fresh or whether I should reinstall. I think I should reinstall to be honest, it would probably be better. Um, we'll go to time zone and set time zone automatically using current location. Now we'll just, just go for it like that and it should yeah, it should do the correct time eventually I guess. Anyway, um, yeah, that's not really part of this video. Now, I believe I'm going to do a fresh install, but I don't think I'm going to video it because it is totally boiling in here and I'm in a bit of a rush to do this now anyway, so this was the upgrade. Of course, I have this drive here and it's got a fresh copy of Yosemite on it, um, but that will soon soon change. That's a nice handy 500 gigabyte laptop drive. Um, but there it is, the MacBook Pro 13 inch, all in all, looking absolutely great. Very, very pleased that it's boot up. Um, and it sorted itself out with the graphics drivers and stuff. So it's nice that something has gone right, guys. Now this is probably one of the last times that you will see this machine, um, but of course you'll see it when Jess and I are living together. You'll see it in vlogs and stuff probably, if all goes to plan. But specifically videos about this MacBook Pro, this is probably the last one for now, until maybe something goes wrong with it in the future, or I need to change the battery, or um, who knows, even more RAM in the future. But anyway, Let's leave it there, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Again, a huge apology if I've sounded a little down in the dumps in this video. It's very, very tricky for me today between everything, but I'm getting through it and everything's okay and things are looking up. Now that this is working, it's really inspired me um, to get cracking and to just pull myself together. So great stuff with this MacBook Pro. Again, thank you for watching. Hope you like my upgrade. And as always, I will see you in tomorrow's video.